Hey everyone, finish watching the next SPD episode, Wired Part 1. Mora goes to bring Grum a new monster. The Rangers, meanwhile, are training some new SPD recruits. One girl stands out, Sophie. She's extremely talented. Mora finds her monster, Velko, and brings him back to Earth. He knows of a powerful being hidden there, Gorodon. Sophie is introduced to Kruger and Cat, and the rangers are called away to investigate a massive hole, unknown to them, caused by Velko unearthing Gorudon. At SPD headquarters, Bridge talks with Sophie. They get along fine, but she gets jumpy when Bridge tries to read her aura with his telepathic abilities. Maybe Bridge should have some consideration for people's boundaries. Broodwing makes a deal with Velko to help him invade the SPD base. Sophie overhears Cat tell Doggy that resequencing some computer systems will take weeks. She sneaks in and tries to help her, but Cat comes in and she sneaks back out. The next day, Velko attacks, demanding the Rangers hand something over. They don't know what he's talking about. Velko sees Sophie and tries to kidnap her. Bridge jumps in and stops him. Just then, Bridwing's robot arrives, piloted by a bluehead robot. It attacks the SPD base, and Cat initiates a new defense system. It allows the base itself to become a Zord. The Rangers get their own Zords and work together to defend the base. The bad guys escape, and the Rangers return to the base. Inside, they see Sophie repairing a robotic arm. They accuse her of being the one who tampered with the base's computers the previous night, and even though she tries to explain, they immediately distrust and expel her. Outside, she's confronted by Velko. This is definitely the weakest episode so far, but it's not all bad. The plot is pretty cluttered, especially for the beginning of a two-parter. We have Grum sending Mora off to get a new monster, that monster knows of another monster, Broodwing pops in to help, and the monster the Velko knew about helps them to escape. I'm not sure why all that had to be in this first part and couldn't be more evenly spread across these two episodes. The Zord battles do drag a bit and could have benefited from being a tad shorter. According to the end credits, the monster of the day's name is uh, actually spelled V-A-L-K-O. In my notes, I spelled it V-E-L-K-O. So, I mean, that's how, they, that's how everyone pronounces it, so screw it, I'm spelling it Velko. The major thing that sticks out this time is Sophie. She's a decent enough character so far, until the end at least. The rangers see her robotic arm and question why she didn't tell them she was a cyborg. She admits to being the one who tampered with the computers and is thrown out. The rangers turn on her surprisingly quickly. This feels far too rushed. I think more focus should have gone to Sophie and maybe have more happen between her and the rangers to build their suspicion of her. Another thing that sticks out, the rangers asking why she didn't tell them she was a cyborg. Maybe she didn't tell them because it's none of their god business. Maybe they have some rules or safety reasons for needing to know, but, like, we're not shown any of that. It's like if someone found out their co-worker was diabetic and they got fired for it. It's pretty horrible, and it puts the rangers in a pretty bad light. They don't ask why she's a cyborg, they just automatically assume it's a bad thing. Maybe it was medically necessary, maybe she had no say in the matter. Time Force briefly touched on a controversy with genetically enhanced humans, but they never really explored that issue too deeply. Maybe this is a situation similar to that. This is a situation where the audience knows way more than the main characters. Sophie is intended to be sympathetic and is portrayed as such to the audience. Maybe she should have been portrayed as ambiguous with the audience un unsure of what she was doing. Is she telling the truth or not? That way we'd share the ranger's confusion. There's also, there's a line in here about whoever tampered with SPD's computers not leaving behind a human trace. This implies Sophie isn't human? At the very least, one arm and her fingertips are artificial, I guess. What about all the other non-human SPD workers? Were they under suspicion? Doggy and Cat aren't human either. The final thing I find weird in all this is that Sophie was just kicked out. There was no legal proceedings to determine if she was a continuous threat. They certainly seem to think she's malicious. Why release her and potentially risk her breaking back in? Sophie's treatment in this episode casts a large shadow over everything else, and it's hard to look past. Will the second part improve on this one? Will things make more sense once the whole story is laid out? I don't think so. From what I remember, it gets worse in the second part. So yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.
What? Uh, Each history's greatest monster! <laughs>